Namaste. Namaste, everybody. Welcome to Maria True Seekers um, Crew Channel. And today I'm doing your um, April Dawn readings for the horoscopes. For the horoscopes, sorry. For the element of fire. This is for all you fire signs. Okay. The first card that I pulled out for um, you fire signs for the month of April out of the goddess um, deck is the goddess Armetius, guardian. It says that you are loved. You and your loved ones are safe, spiritually, always, and protected, okay? Now, Armetius, she, uh, let me say a little bit about Armetius, the goddess. She's a Greek goddess. She's the twin sister of Apollo, the sun god. She's powerful. Um, tomboyish goddess who prefers to spend her time in the woods in the wild and with the wild animals. Armetius has carried a bow and arrow ever since and they were given to her since a uh, child. Um, yeah, she never uses them to hurt anybody. Rather, the energy of her bow and arrow is like a talisman that helps her focus her thoughts and intentions and she always reaches the mark of her manifestations. That's why she's always got that steady. And she knows what she's aiming for. Now, Armetius helps us um, concentrate and focus well. She offers protection to all who call upon her, particular women and children. So know that you and your loved ones will always be protected in the spiritual um always be protected spiritually now the next card is I got was Saravasti now Saravasti says express yourself through creative um, activities um, this could be play music sing dance draw paint write or do something creative um, write a book um, that changed um, people's perspective of things. Um, study or change a career that gives you um, more creative freedom. Um, start um, investing in a, uh, an artistic hobby. Keep a journal of your creative ideas or um, your dreams that you get. And then the next card I got was the goddess Maeve. Okay, she says, honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Um, this also could be, mean um, make time to rest, initiate the steps to alleviate any kind of depression or on lethargy. Take um, better care of your body. Seek support for dealing with emotional crisis. Allow yourself to grieve or take time off. Note that this law won't last forever. A doorway of opportunity has opened up and you need just to walk through it right now. Okay. And that's for the goddess deck. 
Now for the angel deck, the first card that I pulled out was five of fire. Competing goals. There may be bothersome details or conflict with others that might rise up to um in April, okay? So be wary. Be careful of how you talk to people. Make sure it's not harsh. Make sure it's coming from a loving and, and love intent. Um, then the next card I have, Seven of Water. A complete decision is complex. This may need to do a little bit more research and stop procrastinating, okay? Then I have a message from the Archangel Uriel. Okay, now Uriel says, the card indicates that it's a wonderful time for you. You're succeeding in ways you never dreamed possible. Endeavors that you begin now are blessed with abundance and success. Keep your thoughts positive and everything will turn out beautifully. This is also a time of brilliant new ideas and solutions. Have confidence in yourself. The work you've done personally and spiritually brings astonishing changes to your life. You're on the right path for your own enlightenment. The show meanings of this card could be um, uh, joy, public recognition, the attainment of um, great personal insights, vibrant physical and emotional health, now, Uriel is the archangel who helps with mental functioning, including focus and concentration. Call upon Uriel to spark new ideas and solutions, as well as to increase your confidence in your intelligence and wisdom. Now, remember, there may be some bothering um, details, some some problems may come up, but with your clear intentions and your positive and loving thoughts and with researching the conflict, figuring out what is going on, you have no problem. Have confidence in yourself because you got Archangel Uriel on your side, okay? Now, fire signs, the next um, deck I pulled out is from the um, Chakra Angels. And the first card I pulled out, Will. Okay, just set it up there. Now, what this card is, is you're opening up your um, sacral chakra and your solar plexus. You're, you're activating and releasing your, those, um, those energies of those chakra points so you can have that will to gain the power, the insights that you need to establish stronghold in that um, relationship. Okay. There's another one. Hold on a minute. It's now if you see in the photo, it's like a a woman. She's in her slip, high button boots, capturing her strong sense of herself. She, she doesn't care what nobody, nobody thinks about her. She, 
it's just her will. That's how strong her will is. She's just proud of who she is. She's standing up tall. And then with this card, you could say, as I align my will with the divine source, I empower myself and others in win-win relationship. Receive the passion from that will. The next card I got, purpose. Finding your true purpose coming from your crown chakra. Finding that so you're able to express it and find your true purpose and express it to the world. Just give me just a second. With purpose, through the open windows of your soul, a light shines, right? Now, this reveals what is before you in every moment, in every tiny little step that we take, okay? And you say to yourself, my purpose to welcome my soul's expression flowing through me like a river song. Receive. Receive that purpose and have some patience. The next card I pulled out was called Creative. So that way you can co create all the brand new ideas and things that you want to do with either in partners, um, at work, friends, family. We're just helping others. Okay. Now for the um, activations and what chakras need to be balanced. When you are um, activating your chakras too, you're going to be activating your um, sacral and your solar plexus, your throat and your crown chakra, your crown and also your own solar plexus, okay? So it's um, solar plexus, it's your sacral, solar plexus. I said solar plexus, it's supposed to be sacral. Sorry, you guys. It's your sacral, solar plexus, throat, and crown, okay? Now for, the, um, for this card, you could use um, centrine gemstone to help um, activate and balance that chakra, okay? You could use the color gold, and you could use um, verbena for, um, fragrant, for fragrance. And for um, purpose, for the purpose card, 
Hold on, I gotta look at my little book because I can't remember everything on it because it's got so much little goodies in here for everybody. Okay, for purpose, um, you're activating that soul energy um, and you're also activating that throat chakra. So we're gonna use the uh, Amethyst for this um, purpose card to help activate and balance that chakra. The color will be violet and your fragrance will be lavender. Now for co-creation, it's also the same. You could use the same as you did with the, for this card, the amethyst and the fragrance also will be um, lavender. For co-creation, this symbolizes the merging of forces of masculine and feminine energy, heaven in co-creation with earth. Say to yourself, my soul urges me to co-create in relationships with all archetypes, with myself and all that it is. Receive that passion. So with the gemstones that I told you guys um, to use to help activate and balance in the fragrance, you're going to use that for your meditations. Okay? And for your meditations, for your... Um, sacral chakra you're going to use the um bomb sound to um to activate and balance that chakra and for the solar plexus you're going to use the ram sound and for the throat you're going to use the ham sound and for the crown the um sound this will help activate and balance your chakras for the month of April for you fire signs. Okay. And then I also pulled out from the um, Mother Earth um, tarot. I have the um, Ten of Cups. Now the Ten of Cups says, um, will you, for you to um, sit still and quiet yourself and check your own intuition by the situation that's around you. Believe your gut. Those around you may create a very narrow framework. So remember that if you keep your inner balance, you can broaden any situation. Allow this feminine side of yourself to come forward. You may want to try working with a scrying bow. It can help expand your connection to um, the unconscious or um, to source or your own divinity. Signs can come to us at all time, but we just have to often notice them. Keep yourself open and quiet so you can see and hear the messages that are coming your way. Okay. Okay, and the next card I pulled out was Nine of Mirrors. Looked like Stonehenge there for a little bit, don't it? Um, now, this says that you're a seeker. Magic has always been interested in you. Allow yourself to play in its mystery. See the synchronicities. Learn about the magic of flowers and herbs, the colors of sounds, the energy of colors. You may want to pick up um, a deck of tarot and dance with a trance. You are enjoying working with others on a big project. The tug and pull of personal interactions is very stimulating to your inner growth. The atmosphere is, to cre is creative and you thoroughly 
enjoy the harmonious time and the emerges when the movement among everyone flows freely. That's how you know everything is working out smoothly when you start getting those synchronicities. Uh, you may want to start, when I mentioned tarot, it's because I feel like you need to start picking up a tarot deck, some of you guys. <laughs> start doing some divination work, I feel. Okay. Uh, the next card I pulled out was um, Four of Swords. Okay. It says you are very organized right now. See how he's, he has no clutter. Everything is just so well organized. And this helps planning, helps you plan present and future um, events. When you use logic and reason, you are in a good place to allow any kind of visions to come to you and blend with your understanding of your, of how things work. And this could be an enjoyable process and a learning process as well. That's, and that is what I have for you guys. For the fire signs, I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll be next with your, um, for the earth signs. Namaste, much love, peace, light, and protection, and favor to all.